Hi, I'm Gregory Hodgson here at the 2018 Canadian Science Policy Conference, being joined by Sean McGurk. Hi, Greg. Thanks for coming. Uh, so we've spoken in the past, and I know that throughout your PhD at McGill, you were involved with the Science and Policy Exchange there, That's and right. now I think you're on the board of directors, right? Yep, I'm a and past president, now on the board. Now on the board, and you're also a current Canadian Science Policy Fellow yep. with my tax. I've been in for two months, and I'm placed at NSERC, the Natural Sciences and Engineering Research Council, Canada. Yeah. And how's that going so far? Uh, it's been fantastic. The experience at NSERC uh, has been great. The team is excellent. I'm working with Kevin Fitzgibbons, uh, who is really uh, quite a champion. Uh, he's been involved in the science policy scene for quite a long time. Uh, and I'm really bringing an early career perspective uh, and kind of my scientist uh, perspective into uh, the policy and, inter and international relations division there. Uh, and it's really nice to be able to see all these policies come into action. Uh, and to really get kind of that insider's view, which is something that I wasn't able to, wasn't able to get even uh, having been involved with Science Policy Exchange for almost six years now. Yeah, it's really great to see more and more early career scientists getting involved outside the lab, outside of academia, getting into policy, getting into industry and government in different areas. Uh, so it's really nice not only that the MITAX uh, Science Policy Fellowship exists now, um, but also that you know, you're doing so many things to encourage scientists to to get involved outside the lab yeah i'm glad there's more and more ways for scientists to get involved there's programs like science outside the lab that's really fantastic to give experience uh, i've also recently gone through the recruitment of policy leaders program and they have uh, they have a very interesting conference i was just at a policy ignite uh, session last night uh, through the forward 50 conference and that was excellent to really gain networking throughout uh, policy different departments in government uh, there was actually a surprising amount of people with a science background there. So it's great to see this integration is really happening. Yeah, and I think you said that you were going to another conference just after this one, correct? I am. Uh, yeah. In a couple hours, I'm getting on a flight going to New York. Uh, there's the National Science Policy uh, Network that was just formed in the U.S., which is all these little uh, science policy groups uh, in university that came together and made a coalition. Uh, this is uh, their first uh, symposium uh, in New York and trying to figure out how they're going to be setting up this network and keeping it going and making it sustainable. And that's something that Science and Policy Exchange has been kind of looking into for a long time. There was a plan to eventually get into doing chapters. Uh, and uh, Vanessa and I, so Vanessa Sung, who was my co-president last year, we've been looking into how would we set up a network to ensure that more students, more postdocs, more trainees can get into science policy in Canada. And now that we have the opportunity to go to this conference, Vanessa's going there as well, uh, we're going to get to see how they put together this network, how we can bring something like this into Canada. And we've already started talking with a few different parties here to see how we can put that together. Yeah, it's, it definitely seems like something that would be a great initiative to get together in Canada and help the Canadian young scientists get involved. Uh, you've been to the CSPC in the past, you've been here for yep. a few years now. Third year now. And these other comp similar policy conferences in the U.S. and, and abroad. Uh, what do you think is the greatest value of the Canadian Science Policy Conference? It's 100% it's uh, the people that you meet, uh, the amount of networking I've done here. Uh, the, just the first year coming to CSPC uh, just kind of propelled my network, propelled me forward into, into science policy. Uh, I got to know uh, the Ottawa crowd, I got to meet uh, with people like Scott Findlay, with people like Jeff Kinder. Uh, we had Paul Dufour who was uh, helping us to get in and who helped us to network across uh, essentially everybody at CSPC. Uh, and now, you know, we're having discussions with Merdad. Uh, we know people at MITACS. We've been discussing with Universities Canada. This has helped us to get into uh, Budget 2018 and now Budget 2019 to really bring that student and postdoc voice in and have impact uh, on how the budgets are put together. And that uh, was a big help for Budget 2018 to bring science onto the table. Uh, right now there's a survey going on with SPE uh, to survey students and postdocs across Canada on their experience for scholarships uh, and fellowships out of the Tri-Council. And now that there's a review going on uh, in government, it's great to be able to bring that data into the discussion and make sure that uh, those voices are being heard. So all of this kind of stemmed from CSBC, from meeting people, uh, and that's really why Anybody who's uh, really starting out in science policy, any young person who's interested should really come to the conference. That's really great to hear because that's, that's really our, our goal. Awesome. Um, so thanks uh, for talking with us again. Of course. It was really good to see you and I wish you all the best in your career. Same to you.